the stars have aligned and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the build-up when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Well, you want to talk about a fighter who checks all the boxes, DC. Here is the UFC featherweight king, your right-hand man, Max Blesshoff. The Blessed Express <laughs> is always on my mind. He's one of the best fighters and one of the best guys that we know. The pace and the ability to push and press forward is something that the UFC's featherweight division has never really seen. To melt Jose Aldo in the way that he did, to melt Brian Ortega in the way that he did, is truly a compliment to Max Holloway in his preparation. Drew a Wyatt to his soul, and it shows in the toughness that he exhibits when he steps into the opposite. You talk about a guy ably taking the torch from the Hall of Famer, BJ oh. Penn. Max blessed Holloway. Few guys are gonna be able to match the cardio. You mentioned the pace and the pressure. All eyes on Max Holloway yet again here tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Holloway is two years his senior. He is two inches taller. McGregor will have a five-inch edge in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 24 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blessed Holloway. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Here we go with round one between Max Holloway and Conor McGregor. And I would think if you're Conor McGregor, that first meeting back in 2013, if you're throwing that footage out, you expect an entirely different, better version of Max Holloway tonight. You have to. And Conor McGregor is a very smart man and understands the adjustments and the differences that Max Holloway will approach this fight to. And if nothing else, he has to see it visually. That is not the same kid that he fought way back in Boston in 2013. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Ooh, big shot man. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Just over three minutes to go. 
Connects with the right. Oh! Oh! Inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Nice look. Just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Oh, hook to the head by Holloway. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by McGregor. That's a really strong leg kick there by Holloway. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, is that a huge kick to the body or what? And just misses with that big right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Single collar tie here. 20 seconds to go. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Nice loop of punch. All right, that one signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Great punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab is so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, showing no signs of slowing down, 41 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor and landing with 42% accuracy thus far against Max Holloway. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, he might be out. really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, brutal knee to the body. And they separate. Big right hands there by Max Holloway. Just over two minutes now to go. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, he blocked. Oh, that's in there, DC. He massive, hurt. massive hook lands. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Out of range with that kick attempt. here in the second round. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. All the way, wow! Who's hurt? Oh! Trying to kick the leg.
leg out. Oh, straight right. McGregor's lower jaw now starting to show signs of slowing. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Final round, you ready? Third and final round. Missed with that right hand. Oh, McGregor's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. 65 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Well, not necessarily the efficiency you'd be looking for, landing with 36% accuracy against Max Holloway. Oh, nice punch there by Holloway. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of round number three.